Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these 3D elegant earrings. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I'll be so happy to see your creations. These earrings are easy to make and with the step-by-step -step instructions, I'm sure by the end of this tutorial, you're going to be able to make it. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are really simple stuff. Here I use 80 beads and 11 seed beads. These are ear wires. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about four feet of thread on my needle, which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I'm back and I'm going to start my work. And in order to start it, I need four of these beautiful ato beads. They are dark blue. You could use black if you wish, okay? Or other color. Okay, I have my four here and I'm going to start my work by making here a knot going twice through the loop I've made and making a knot and then I'm going to make one more knot and pull and now guys this is what I have now I'm going through the following ato bead and now I'm going to start something really interesting. I will make something like a small cube here. I show you this work when I was making a beaded rope out of seed beads, okay? Now, here I have one bead and here I have three beads and I'm making another cross of four here. I'm adding only three beads because I have already have one here and this I'm in this way I'm making a cross then pay attention I'm going through the following bead here and here I want to make another cross but this time I'm going to add only two beads because I will use this bead here and this bead here as my other two beads of my cross and now guys you see I have another cross here okay here and here I will also make crosses of four beads but I will use beads from my other elements to make this cross okay take two beads and go back through these two and I still have four and when I pull this is a cross you see and here I will make an interesting thing that will make my cube okay I'm going through this last blue bead and now I'm going to pull all of those beads up you see and when I pull them up and connect them you see here I have one two three beads that are from the other elements okay let me focus one two three beads that are from my other elements and when I pull like this connect them like this I will take a fourth element here fourth bead here and still make a cross of four but because I'm using these two beads of my other two crosses that is why I'm adding only one bead at this step. Okay, now you see what I have here. I have a cross of four. Here I have a cross of four. 
here I have a cross of 4 and here I have a cross of 4 and the bottom also is a cross of 4 and now when I connect all of those beads here at the top these are not connected those four at the top are not connected but now I'm connecting them and now I have this beautiful cube that I have four beads from each side of it okay now okay guys now I will use this as a base of another cube and I'm gonna be showing you how I'm doing this okay three beads go back through here and make a cross of four okay cross of four then go you see what I have here this is my cross of four and I'm adding another cross of four then I'm going through here through the next the neighbor bead I'm just adding crosses of four here here and here from the four sides of my cross now it's time to add two beads and go back through these two like I did before like I did in my first step okay now I'm repeating everything but I'm using as a base the last four beads that I connected okay now I will take two beads go back through these two again okay and you see I'm here at my last step where I have three beads I need to connect them and add only one more bit to make a cross of four. Okay. And now guys, I'm going to connect those four beads here at the end that are still not connected like this okay and now I will use this one as a base of another element like those two okay and I will show you this as well okay guys and up to here if you if I continue this work I will make a long beaded rope but what I want to do is to make a cube shape that is why I will exit here from these four beads and I will use this one as a base of another element like this okay and I'm taking three beads going back through here and it is the same thing like I was doing before but this one will be my base here these four beads okay and here are my last three beads that I want to connect with one more bead 
it is absolutely the same it's like I'm making um, this V shape and going in this direction with the same pattern that I'm doing okay one two three and this is the fourth one that I should be adding here one two three and this is the fourth okay like this and now it's the final step of connection here Okay guys, and I will continue this in this direction. And in order to do this, here I want to make another small cube. And this will be the base of my cube. But here I have one of the sides of my cube. You see, one, two, three, four. And I will use it. Okay. And I'm here at my second side you see here I have one two beads and I'm going to add two more and go through these two and make the second time of this cube that I'm forming here okay then I will go through the third bead of my base remember this here is my base and I will take two more beads and I will go back in circle through these two beads and form four beads. Okay. Then here you see one, two, three beads. It's absolutely the same, only that the bottom and the one side of my small cube are already there and you see here one two three beads and these the two are turned in this direction okay and I'm pulling and this is the last bead here and I'm going through this bead and now these are not connected these four beads here are not connected but I will connect them now okay like this and you see here I have a base and one side of a cube and what I want to do is continue with my other sides, okay? I'm exiting out of this side blue bead. Here I have two beads and I need to add two more beads and make a cross of four. Okay, like this. Now I'm exiting out of this side bead. You see here I have one, two beads. Take two more and go back in circle through these two. And here I have one, two, three beads. Okay. Here I need just one and connect this cross here okay now now I'm here where I want to reinforce this part okay this part here okay and I connected it and now I'm going to continue with one more row and I will show you the first step of this row I'm taking three beads going back in circle through this one here you see what I have this will be my base of four and this is one of the sides then I'm going here through this one 
take two, go back, then through the third side of my base, take two, go back, and fourth side where I have three beads like I did before. This is the final third bead. Okay. And now guys, I'm going to reinforce it. Okay, now I have this and here I need two more cubes and I'm sure if you're up to here you're gonna be able to make them. This is the base, this is one side, make one, two, three sides more and finish with this one and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. If you forgot how I did it, just repeat this second row one more time here, rewind the video and do this. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and I just did this last cube. I'm sure if you're gone so far, you will be able to make it by yourself. Okay, this last part I mean. And now what I'm going to do is add an edge of beads here. Okay, I'm taking one seed bead and go here. Then I'm taking one more, go here, again, Okay, and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I'm adding my last bead from this row. And what I want to do is exit here through this blue one, okay, and I'm adding one bead here. One more. Okay. Then I will go through these two beads in circle. And I'm going to add two more little beads, uh, sorry, silver beads. Okay, now I have this and what I want to do here is reach my next uh, silver bead, yes, and here I want to attach my ear wire, okay, this is my ear wire and I will take one seed bead, then my ear wire and then one more seed bead and I will go back through this silver one okay like that one seed bead ear wire seed bead okay and pay attention in what position I'm putting my ear wire because this is my front part and this will be the back part of my earring okay now I'm going to reinforce this
Okay, and in my next step, I'm going to make the outer edge of my earring. By the way, if you prefer, you could leave it at this stage, but I will add an additional edge here. Here I'm taking three beads, and as I'm exiting from the silver bead, I'm skipping the blue one and pulling. Now this is what I have. Three beads here. Then I'm going to skip, then I'm going through the blue and through the silver. Okay, fixing this one. Taking three silver beads like that and going back in circle through this silver one. Okay. Then I'm exiting out of my next silver. Three. Skip the blue and going through the silver. Then through the blue and through the following silver. Take three silvers, go back, okay, like this. Three. Okay, and I need three more. Okay, and now I have these guys. And what I want to do is go at the back of my earring, make a knot and cut my thread. Okay. I'm exiting here at the back, making here a loop, going once, going second time through this loop I've made, then I'm going through the following seed bead, here I will make one more knot, make a loop, go through this loop, pull, then through the following seed bead, and now, guys, I will cut my thread, and my earring will be ready. Okay, guys, and now my 3D elegant earrings are ready. So, if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos or fresh bidding ideas and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and Amazon links where you could buy supplies from. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.